Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, folks, we're just one day away. It's uh, getting pretty exciting. We're going to start out against Ball State. It's got one thing to say. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> that's, that's, well, that's three things, actually. <laughs> but I know you're excited. We're all excited to get this season going. Get Hendon Hooker out there throwing that ball all over the dadgum field and making those defensive coordinators crazy on the other side, watching the head coach flip out like Kentucky's head coach did last year. I wonder if he's gotten over that game yet. I kind of doubt it. <laughs> but we also got some good news on our guy Parker, who um, looks like he's leaning a little bit towards Tennessee. He looks like he set up two visits to come see us. And um, as you know, he had committed to uh, Penn State and he decommitted just about a month ago. And now he's setting up a, two visits for the Vols, which this would be a great pickup for us. There's no doubt. So let's get into this story. Yeah, locks in official visits, plural, and several game day visits. And let's take a look at what it says. Of course, he's having a dominant start to his senior season. He's already had six sacks in two games. And uh, the high school uh, players can't deal with him. He's just too big and too strong. Look, the guy's six foot four, 250, and he's in high school. I don't understand how you can be that big. When I was in high school, I weighed about 145 pounds. Six foot, 145 pounds. <laughs> that was just, I don't see how somebody could be 250, but, but that's how it goes for some of these big players. But he talks about where he's lined up several visits. He's got a visit signed up for Florida on the 15th of October and Tennessee, which is the first weekend of December. And then he's also Clemson in October. But here's what's big about December. As you know, early signing periods in December, and it looks like the Vols will, will probably be getting his final visit, and that's huge. You know, if it were me and I was looking at teams, I would probably set up the team I'm most likely to sign with towards the very end. That way, I'm close to the decision time, and I've seen them the last time, so they're fresh in my mind, and who knows, we might even get a silent commitment from him or something along those lines. And the second visit that he's uh, setting up is to come see the Alabama game, which he'll get to see the crowd at their wildest. And that's going to be a tough game for us because Alabama is brutal. But there'll be a day when we're back uh, even with them, and it's, it's coming. It's coming soon. He's the number 49 prospect, so top 50. And he's probably going to get ranked higher if he keeps on with all these sacks. And let's take a look at him. And here's coming off the edge. And, yeah, that, well, that's too easy there. Just too fast and uh, here's another one where he'll just kind of bull rush and then no you couldn't handle me and yep he's just too big for these high school players there's just no way now you can watch him handling the run and then kaboom yeah i wouldn't want to get hit by somebody that big in high school and just try to nope you're not tricking me you're not tricking me that's just pure athleticism right there and then no that oh good grief okay that tackle should have done a better job there I'd be mad if I was the quarterback. And once again, nope, you're not going to smell it. And understand that was a year ago. So the guy's even bigger and faster these days. So he would be a great pickup for us. Because realize, as you know, we've already got uh, Chandavi and Bradley committed, who is a big-time five-star edge rusher. They've got him here as a four, but several, place him, several places have him as a five-star, and everybody wanted him. And then Caleb Herring, which is the number one uh, – edge rusher in the state of Tennessee, number one recruit, period, and we've got him committed. These are two top ten uh, edge rushers. If we pick up Parker, we'd have basically three, and that would be monstrous because the big problem that we've got at Tennessee is the defense, and it's not that they, you know, are terrible or anything. It's just we had so many guys that transferred out. Our two starting linebackers transferred out. We had a bunch of other guys transfer, and that was after the whole Jeremy Pruitt debacle. But um, it's, the defense is getting built back up, and I'm looking for better things from them this year. Look, they, you know, they held on pretty good last year in a very difficult situation. So this is not me criticizing them, but they need to get better, and they know it. And hopefully we'll see a lot more depth this year. That's what they're saying. But if we can pick up three big-time edge rushers, and you know we got three really good cornerbacks coming in. And for me, I've, I've told you a couple times, I think quarterback's number one, edge rushers are number two, then cornerbacks and offensive line are probably tied for third as far as important positions. Look, all positions are important, no doubt. But if you don't have a great quarterback and you don't have great edge rushers, you're not going to be elite. You just absolutely will not be. Because the way football is these days, it's not like it was back in the 80s and 90s. 
you've got to be able to throw the football. And they're not going to let you touch the wide receivers. You're just, you can't. So they're, they're going to get open if the quarterback gets any time at all. So you've got to put pressure on the quarterback, especially on those third downs. Because look at the problems we had on third and long last year because we were not putting pressure on the quarterback. You know, even if you don't get to him, you got to harass him and make him make a mistake. And one of the most important things about this guy, as usual, he's got great speed, especially at 250 pounds. And if there's one thing that Josh Heupel wants is speed on this team, but especially at edge rusher, you've got to have power and speed. He pretty much wants guys like this on the edge. And as I've told you, that's actually a training video that, that Heupel uses for most of his players. It, it seems to be working pretty good. And I can tell you right now, if we pick up three edge rushers, this level of quality, along with Nico, the uh, other guys we've got coming in, the cornerbacks, the wide receiver. And look, I think Carnell Tate's coming. I really do. I cannot believe that he's considering going to Ohio State when he would be the third ranked wide receiver that they've got as a commit, when he would be our number one. So I just don't get that. I don't see him going to Ohio State. I think Carnell Tate is going to flip and uh, come to Tennessee. I think that's what would be best for him. When you're basically almost a five-star or right at it, and there's a chance you might not play your freshman year, what are you thinking? Especially when you can come to the Vols and be fantastic on an incredible offense with a five-star-plus quarterback coming in. I don't see Carnell Tate uh, sticking with Ohio State. Let's don't. That's my opinion. But we pick up these guys, and let me tell you something. Georgia and Alabama and even Florida, you're not going to be kicking sand in our face anymore. We're going to take Florida out this year anyway. But Georgia and Alabama, we're coming for you. And instead of walking around worried about you, we're going to walk around like this. <laughs> That's right. You're not going to be kicking sand in our face anymore. We're coming for you. You just better know it. All right, folks, nice show today on uh, Parker. It looks like uh, we got a good shot at picking him up, which would be great. Oh, man, just 24 hours away from the big game. 24 hours. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> That's right, 24 hours to rumble time. I'm excited about it, excited about this possible prospect, too. If you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover the Vols. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. We'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.